Uh, hello friends, I am Dr. Avinash R. I am a consultant pulmonologist at Apollo DTS Hospital, Mysore. With the onset of monsoon season, there is an increase in respiratory infection, respiratory diseases and allergic changes and that will raise uh, some questions in everyone's minds. I am trying to shed light on a few questions as such. Early what we used to see is they used these uh, designated summer, month, winter, rainy season and so on. But with the onset of monsoon season, there is a sudden change in weather that happens every day. Suddenly there will be a lot of heat, lot of cold, rain and other things. So this change is not tolerated by a few individuals and that causes some amount of ailments. So ailments can be respiratory or non-respiratory but among the respiratory thing, it is usually seen in an asthmatic, COPD, ILD or a bronchitis patient who suffer more and even among the non-allergic patients, there is increase in respiratory ailments at the time of monsoon. Monsoon season basically outside humidity, inside humidity also increases. When you are getting drenched in rain, usually is not tolerated by few individuals. When the moisture inside the house increases, there is increased predisposition to growth of molds or fungi and this alteration in seasons also predisposes to viral infection because there is an alteration in the upper airway microbiome. So all these things causes increase in respiratory infections, increase in allergy and both of it causes increased respiratory ailments. Allergy usually increases during monsoon season because one, there is increased humidity outside and people are supposed to get, uh, they will get wet. So that causes an increase in uh, their illnesses. Moisture inside the house predisposes to growth of mold and mold exposure triggers your allergy. Dust exposure triggers your allergy. Cold and other thing might be increased pre-monsoon and also during monsoon time and that increases uh, the allergic tendencies. As I told you, viral infections are more and viral infection becomes a risk factor for allergy during the monsoon season. Getting ill is inevitable. Everyone has to fall and they will fall. But uh, whatever illness is there is called as common flu or common flu-like disease. Common here denotes that it is very common among the community. Usually what happens is in common flu-like syndromes, there is myalgia or weakness or body aches, some amount of fever, some amount of cough and minimal sputum. It will reduce within 1 to 2 days. But what is alarming is if the symptoms persist beyond 2 days, that is cough is there along with yellowish colored sputum, if there is breathlessness, if the fever is there and the fever is high grade, 1 or 2, 1 or 3, 1 or 4 and other things, and there is extreme myalgia or tiredness, I think so it is better to consult your doctor and uh, get it treated because you will require some amount of investigation, evaluation and proper treatment. Along with that, you are supposed to isolate yourself and don't go along and mix with everyone because you might end up spreading infection to others. Thank you.